and Stefan de Vrij, the player of the match. And so there we have our final four semi-finals coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday. But of course, the final eight days away, that's tomorrow week, next Sunday in Berlin. And I wonder what, uh, what Berlin is going to be like this evening as those Turkish and Dutch fans leave the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, I've just read that there is a bit of trouble. Let's hope that it's, uh, it's not, not too bad and, and they go home uh, uh, peacefully. Um, I think the better team won, even though for a long part it didn't look that way. Um, obviously, a little consolation for Turkey. They're probably um, a bit unfortunate to go out the way they did. But I think they've done their country, country proud. And um, yeah, we're probably one of the surprises of the, of the tournament. OK, England and the Netherlands, the semi-final. And uh, I certainly want to look forward to it, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but I think we need to talk about Harry. Mm. Uh, England's captain, uh, their number nine, uh, their goal scorer. Is there any way, with another lacklustre performance by him, for whatever reason, uh, that Gareth Southgate is going to consider dropping his captain? I don't think so. I, I think the status he has within the dressing room, the attitude of the manager towards him, um, his previous goal scoring record, big tournament experience, all of those things are the things that Southgate is obviously looking to. If he's looking on performances, the case for dropping Harry Kane is so strong. Like We looked at him again today, we all kept a close eye on him, and this isn't the first game of the tournament where he's been poor. This is one header, and you think, well, there was question marks over him, is he, is he fully fit, is he carrying a back injury? That's a header that a defender would, would, would make to clear the ball, and he ball breaks down at the edge of the box. Here, you think this is basic centre forward play, you throw in, you're, you're, you're the defender, you're between him and the ball, but he somehow poor touch and then gave away a free kick. He was the most foul player of the, of the game. He could have been. Again, that's not a sign that he's a, a good player or a sign that it was a good performance. It's a sign that people around him are kicking him. One of the, one of the things that there, he's elbowed a player and got booked. Um, he didn't look a goal threat. And throughout the tournament, he hasn't. And I know you can turn around and go, well, he's got a couple of goals, but the question here, like, look here, at yeah. his position. Your centre forward Tony should be in the box. This wide, the trip is here backing him up. Your number nine should be in the box for a cross coming in. He's actually laying it wide and then there's no reaction to get in the box, you know? The question you asked Richie, right, yeah. is he droppable? He is, but we all know for a he fact sitting here he won't be dropped. He's the captain. South gets come out after the game saying, you know, he brings leadership qualities. He's helping this, some of the younger players and stuff. But I imagine Ollie Watkins, I think he scored 18 Premier League goals this year and 13 assists or something, will be thinking, why can't I play? But I, even Tony came on done really well as well. But how many goals did Harry Kane score in the Bundesliga? How was he viewed in, in Bayern Munich this year? Well, he scored up until Christmas. He, he scored a lot of goals. He scored a few after, after Christmas. He wasn't as, uh, as, as prolific as he was before. Um, he still scored 35, 36 goals, but everybody scores goals in Munich. He probably started the season on 20 goals when he played for Bayern Munich because, because everybody scored these goals. Um, they have won a trophy. In the Champions League final, he asked to be substituted with five minutes to go because he had a sore back, which I don't understand. Um, you're five minutes away from a Champions League final. So that lets me question um, how committed the player is. And he cost over 100 million. He's the he's highest earner. And I said last week, if I was an official or if I was uh, in, in charge of Bayern Munich, I had something to say, I would, I would get cold sweats after every England game watching him because he's got three years left on huge money. And I'm not sure what he's got left in the tank, I've got to say, because everything seems to be too quick. Um, it, the, the game just passes him by. And the fact that he's, what the, what the lads pointed out, when, he's, when there's a play on the byline, he doesn't get in the box. I think there's a reason, because he can't go past the defender no more to get to the near post, because once you see something developing, you've got to change gears and you've got to try to get to the near post in front of the defender. I don't think he gets there anymore. And if you haven't got a centre forward, and we've seen that with Portugal, it's, it's near enough impossible to create a chance to get some flow into your game, because a centre forward is there to create space. To, to occupy two defenders, three defenders. That gives space to Bellingham, to Foden, to Saka, to Palmer when he comes on. Uh, same for Portugal. And they haven't got that. And Watkins come on one, one, one game, and he did more in 25 minutes than Kane did, did in, in, in four games because he's got pace, he's got the physicality, he links, links up with play. And um, I think he should be dropped. I think Wat Watkins should be playing. And I think if Watkins plays, it gives him a far better chance to go to the final. I think if you're a defender, you would be... 
Watkins would cause you more difficulties. He, he would stretch you, he'd come short, he can go behind, he's quick enough, he's mobile enough. Kane doesn't look mobile, he doesn't close you down if you have the ball, he doesn't look overly physical, he's not holding it up as much as he did and he's not much of a goal threat. You think of, the, the, there's an odd thing to say, but the cost of playing him, they're not quite carrying him, but like they're lis missing out on what the others could bring if they played in his place. But he's not going to be dropped. He's just too big. He's got too much status. The armband is the one he's wearing. He's going to play no matter what. Well, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't criticise a fella one for telling a manager he's injured and needs to come off, though. You, you just said there. For a sore back. For an minutes. injury. No, if he's an got injury. a sore back, he played for 85 minutes. Unless I break my leg or, or rupture my ligaments, I've got to carry on. There are other types of the, injuries that make no, you... No, they, they have to carry off. Unless you have to be carried off, you've got to stay on the pitch. And psychologically, there was a hammer blow for Munich because Madrid thought, oh, we've got a chance, the main man is coming off. It was a, it was a killer But yet you'll criticise Ronaldo for ensuring that he stays on the pitch in all no, circumstances, no matter different. what. No, no, Richard, that's different. That's different. It's completely different. Ronaldo is not capable of playing anymore because he's too old and he's too slow. You can't criticise a fella for putting his hand up and going, I'm, I'm wrecked, this is an important part of the game, someone else will come on, because if I stay on, you're carrying me. I can't move, my back is sore, whatever There's the injury is. Whether Harry Kane starts or not, you're talking about. who's going to win? Netherlands or England? <laughs> million dollar question. And it's, hard to, it's hard to answer. I mean, if the Netherlands turn up like we've seen, I think, half an hour in the quarterfinal, they were absolutely brilliant. I don't think we've seen the best of them, best of them tonight, sorry. Um, England, again, you know, Chavka talks about improvements. They look better than the right path. I do think the system was better tonight. I think Foden in the, in, as a 10 was, was much better. It's hard to call. It could go with extra time penalties, I see. OK, well, that's it for today. And what a day it has been.